get it over there. Yeah. It's just a simple little message for come, please. Would you stop acting like it's dollar day at May? What is the promotion last? No, it's nothing that exciting. I'm afraid you're going to have to settle for it. Just a simple, plain, ordinary, run-of-the-mill psychological test. Oh, it's coming up in three weeks. Haven't us waves got it tough enough without them throwing some sea-going brain picker at us? <laughs> Not you, Botnick. It's just the girls. The Navy Department wants to see how their morale is holding up under the stresses and strains of a combat area. Oh, they got to be kidding. The only combat we ever have is fighting off all those big, strong, wonderful men. <laughs> oh, McGuire, I've got a job for our electronics expert. Commander Adrian's hi-fi set is acting up again. Aye, aye, ma'am. Wait a minute, Molly. You got a problem? Affirmative, Lieutenant. Same problem I've had for weeks. Herman. No letter again, huh? He hasn't written in four months. Today's... Well, today's sort of our anniversary. We met a year ago, just before the Army sent him to Alaska. Well, I think Herman's a real thing for letting you down on a special day like this. He's probably fallen in love with some beautiful Eskimo girl. Huh, that'd be the day. The way those igloo babies bundle up in all those furs. How do you tell they're beautiful? Yeah, how can you even tell they're girls? <laughs> oh, Molly, don't be silly. Thanks for trying, kids. But I just gotta face it. Herman doesn't love me anymore. You have to do something about that Herman or I'm gonna be short on waves. <laughs> recorder. This is an electronic shambles. I was just trying to make a little adjustment, sir. You were trying to make... Don't you realize there is a war on? I had to get most of this equipment through by diplomatic courier. <laughs> Look what she's done to my woofer. <laughs> Look what she's done to my tweeter. Do I have to, sir? I fixed the trouble, sir. I can reassemble it in the jiffy. All right, then. All right. Reassemble, reassemble. Tomorrow night, the Australian Symphony is broadcasting from Brisbane. And I am going to cut four sides to add to my priceless collection of classical recorded music, the finest in the South Pacific. He also has a few short hair items like uh, Glenn Miller and Woody Herman. <laughs> Herman, sir? D did you say Herman? What's the matter with Herman? I am not a musical snob. In my quieter moments, I rather like Herman. <laughs> What's the matter, McGuire? What's with you and Woody? Oh, it's not Woody Herman, sir. It's my Herman. He has a friend in luck. Sir, request permission to go someplace and cry a lot. <laughs> she has got a, an emotional problem, hasn't she? Hasn't heard from her sweetheart? In months. Well, she must be under a terrible strain, particularly with the psychological test coming up, eh? I hate to shoot you down off that rosy cloud, sir, but uh, that test isn't for three weeks. I'm sure Lieutenant Morgan will have McGuire back in the beam by then. You're right, Trotter. That would be ample time if she had the full three weeks. If, sir? I'll move the test up. You know, Trotter, this is getting to be a real fun war. <laughs> Seven cases hydraulic fluid. Check. Check. Five cases brake lining. <laughs> Check. McGuire, bring that crate over here so we can load this stuff.
silly, my dear. How could you possibly be hurt by falling 15 feet in a packing case? Oh, my fault, sir. I was... Oh. I wish I was dead. <laughs> oh. That poor child. I hate to see her so upset by a simple little accident. He must have landed on his head. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right, sir? Now, now, Lieutenant, I want you just to imagine that this little incident didn't take place. I'm sure it wouldn't have if your entire crew wasn't so mentally disturbed by the news. News, sir? Oh, uh, didn't Trotter tell you? Oh, yes, the psychological tests have been moved up a little uh, to tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Yes, you know, the day after today. Oh, uh, uh, and, Lieutenant, be sure and tell that dear child, McGuire, not to be distressed by our little accident. <laughs> I like to run a happy ship. Gee, he, he's a pretty sweet fellow after all. I should thought he was going to lower the boom on Molly. He has lowered the boom on Molly. Some way he's found out about Herman and he's deliberately moved up those tests. Fink, now she'll flunk and get shipped out. And that's only the beginning. Now you'll find a way to give the rest of us waves a deep six. Well, that's our fearless leader. We've got to think of some way to get her out of this fast. Now all hands put your heads together and think. Think! I got it. Herman won't write, so why don't we do it for him? We knock out something real gushy, see? Slip it to her at mail call and zoom. She's on cloud nine. Nice try, Kowalski, but it won't work. She knows his handwriting. Right. So why don't we do it the easy way? Why don't we have Herman telephone her long distance from Alaska? Oh, don't be silly, Skipper. We don't have any long distance phones around here. Uh-uh, but we do have a base radio, right? Now, all we need is a little cooperation from the man on duty. And guess who has the first watch tonight? D'Angelo. Nikki? Roberta's little playmate. That'll be a cinch. You're his favorite sport. Oh, no, Stelman. Nicky always told me his favorite sport was wrestling. So? <laughs> Don't worry about it, lovey. Just try and convince him in your own sweet way. No. No, I, I won't do it. I can't. It's, it's against the regulations. Nicky, honey, laws were made to be broken. I mean, every time I used to step out on the runway, I used to break a whole bunch of laws. Oh, but baby, I... Boy. You gotta do something to snap Molly out of it. Yeah, but who's gonna snap me out of it? I mean, no. It, it's no use. You can't walk, you know, talk me into it. <laughs> Roberta, it wouldn't work. We'd never get away with it. How do you know until you try? Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay out of the brig. <laughs> Honey, I got responsibilities. I'm a career man in the Navy. I got my future to think of. They'll court-martial me. They'll ship me home. In disgrace. I'll do it. Why was I born so earthy? Why all the fuss, sir? You've recorded the Australian Symphony before. Ah, Trotter. Tonight is a musical first. Sir Thomas Fisby is conducting Edelman's contemporary scherzo for oboe and strings. Well, far as I'm concerned, an oboe is an ill woodwind that no one blows good. <laughs> Lieutenant, musically, you will always be a seaman second class. Gee, Nikki, I'm so grateful. I don't know how to thank you. Ah, uh, that's okay, kid. I know how it is. Lemur, Tejua, Lemur. <laughs> Polar Bear One from Ranikai, we have your party. Go ahead, please. Here, talk fast. Hello, Herman. This is Molly. What's that, Molly? I can't hear you through all this wind and static. Your voice, you sound so, well, so different. I've, I've got a bad cold. Oh. <gasps> Gesundheit. Anyway, Molly, honey, the reason I'm 
calling to tell you why I haven't ridden. You see, I'm on maneuvers. I've been out on this iceberg for nearly four months. Oh, Herman, I've missed you so. Please write soon, will you? Sure, good to hear your voice after listening to those seals all day. <laughs> What the devil is that? I don't know. Sounds like old Frisbee swallowed the oboe. <laughs> I've got to go now, Herman. Take care of yourself. And I want you to know I forgive you for not writing, now that I know why. I'm glad, Molly, darling. And, and remember, I, I'm crazy about you. Here's something to remember me by. <laughs> oh, Herman. <laughs> Sorry, Paula Bear, that's all. This is D'Angelo on Ranikai. Over and out. <laughs> all right, no time for curtain calls. Molly's gonna be back any minute. We gotta get these props put away. <laughs> you know, Botnik, you better check that walkie-talkie. You may have burned out a tube. That was a pretty hot kiss to come all the way from Alaska. <laughs> I'll iceberg at that. <laughs> Hear that. That Lieutenant Morgan hasn't got a shred of... Decency Trotter deluding that poor, innocent girl. That's tragic. Oh, it certainly is, sir. Now she'll pass that psychological test tomorrow with flying ink blots. <laughs> Good night, Trotter. Sleep warm. <laughs> Sorry, Paula Bear, that's all. Sorry, Paula Bear, that's all. Sorry, Paula Bear. so sorry to disturb you, particularly with those tasks coming up today. But my recording unit is still giving me just a bit of difficulty. Oh, well, never fear when McGuire is here, I always say. <laughs> I think you'll find the trouble is in the turntable. It seems to be off a few RPMs. Oh, I'll check it out, sir. Mind if I use one of your records? Not at all, my dear. Feel free, feel free. Psychopathical test. <laughs> what are we going to do, Skipper? Well, I think Adrian's already done it. I don't know how, but I'll bet my last lipstick he's the one that scuttled us. Hey, Lieutenant, have I got a big surprise for Molly? Forget it. She's had her surprise for today. Not like this one. Look, four months back mail. Hey. Look. SWA. Sealed with a kiss. And it's from Herman. They all are. He must have kept his promise and written every day like you said. <sighs> this is like manna from heaven. You know these letters could pull Molly through after all. Molly. Where is she? Battle stations, girl. Operation Find McGuire is underway. You try the motor pool, you try the PX. Look everywhere, but find her quick. <laughs> hey, what was that all about? Well, it's just a little experiment, Botnik, to prove that the pen is mightier than the walkie-talkie. <laughs> Wave Barracks, Lieutenant Morgan speaking. 
Oh, Commander Adrian here. <laughs> you will be interested to know that the fleet psychologist has just arrived. So I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed with the tests immediately. This is so sudden. I'm not proposing to you, Lieutenant. <laughs> I am ordering you to have your waves report to Lieutenant Marshall at the base hospital immediately. Oh, oh. and Lieutenant, that means all. Repeat, all. Hmm? <laughs> Bye now. Botnik, find the girls. Tell them to report to the hospital right away. But what if they can't find Molly? Well, I'll just have to think of something to cover until she gets there. One way or the other, McGuire's gonna be there. What am I saying? <laughs> She is Mate McGuire reporting, sir. Oh, yes, Mrs. McGuire. Very good. Yes, uh, sit down, Mrs. McGuire. Yeah, right there. I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Ma uh, Lieutenant Marshall. Yeah. Uh, sit right down now. Now, let's see. Where you might put your schedule, Cat. Oh, oh, good, yeah. Now, we'll begin with a brief experiment to determine the relative effect of current uh, environmental conditions on the degree of your concentration and coordination. You follow me? Affirmative, sir. In the Navy, we never put square pegs in round holes. Good, good. That's very good. Yes, you seem to have grasped the germ of the idea already. Fine. Hurry on. Yes, now. You, uh, you, the, uh, all the other girls. Yes, now, uh, refer to Love, Science Room B. That's next door. And, uh, Selma, who won't see, room C. That's we. Now, you get... Carry on while I, uh, brief the other girls. Yes. Sir? Oh, excuse me, Don't you think we can finish with my test first before you go to the other girls? Oh, no, 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 no. Negative, negative, no. You see, Commander Adrian specifically said that you were all to take these tests simultaneously. And if anyone failed to report, I was to call him immediately. No, we can't have to wear my glasses. I never around. <laughs> oh, well. Now, you just carry right on, Mr. Squire, while I go and greet Miss uh, Love and Miss Kowalski. I... Well, I just can't bring myself to address you girls as sea men. Everybody? I mean, after all, I have adoring fans everywhere. Oh, yeah, well, well, your records do indicate that you're, um, an exotic dancer. That's right, Doctor. They used to call me the Pavlova of the runway. Yeah, well, well, well I see. You certainly don't seem to uh, have any coordination problems. I mean, everything uh, seems to be moving together. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, I, uh, I, excuse me, I have to get Miss Kowalski started. Kowalski, Selma. That's me, Doc. The gal behind the gal behind the gun. In other words, where there's a man, there's me. <laughs> oh, I must say, for a moment, you frightened me. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, let's get on with the test, shall we? Um, you see the blocks on the desk? Just barely. Uh, uh, square holes, square pegs, etc., etc. <laughs> Those girls, anyway. She's not in the motor pool. She's not in the supply shed. Okay, come on, get in. We'll cover the island. The skipper's stalling for time, but we can't expect her to hang on forever. Thanks. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. how, how are we doing with the Rorschach test, Miss McGuire? Gosh, it's getting awfully monotonous, sir. I mean, you've seen one block, you've seen them all. <laughs> Well, uh, how's your Rorschach shaping?
keeping up, Miss Love. Oh, I'm getting a big charge out of these crazy eight blocks, Dr. Marshall, honey. They're the wildest. <laughs> Rorschach time. Uh, what do you think of the ink spots? Well, frankly, Doc, I prefer the Mills Brothers. <laughs> by this time you have shot down the entire petticoat navy with your psychological broadside, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I certainly am going to miss those girls. Hey, hey, I do, I'm, the, I'm the contrary, Commander. I'm the contrary. Oh, oh, no, your waves have just simply raced through that blackboard test and, and their reaction to the Rorschach. Whoa, gee, they're amazing, those girls. <laughs> McGuire, too. Oh, affirmative, yes. Oh, indeed. And yeah, right now they're just buzzing along on their T and F. <laughs> it's true or false. Of Freud. They're all Lieutenant Morgan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait till the Pentagon hears about this. I need witnesses, witnesses. I've got to have some witnesses, witnesses. Come on, girls. Come on. Yeah, here on the double. This is it, Trotter. The grand finale. The living end for Lieutenant Morgan and the whole wave invasion. <laughs> Sir, are you sure of what you saw? <laughs> Follow me, man. Well, Lieutenant, at last I... I distinctly, I... I... Oh, excuse me, Commander. I was just about ready to turn in my test. <laughs> Hi, Commander. I want to check my true and false. Where is Lieutenant Morgan? You called, sir? <laughs> I mean, I distinctly saw. I mean, I, I'm positive. Now, now, Commander, saw. there's no need to get upset. Upset, upset? Who's upset? I am not upset. I simply saw what I think. I mean, I think what I saw. I know. Didn't I? I hope we haven't lost our gallant leader. Oh, oh, oh certainly not, certainly not. You see, hallucinations are obvious signs of combat fatigue. But we can cope. Now, shall we cope right over here, Commander? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> this is getting to be a lousy war. <laughs> I think. <laughs> 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 